In this tutorial, we are going to see how to make a picking and placing the 3D game object. So we are, we are planning to have a first person controller. So in order to have, I am just grabbing the standard as our plugin from the asset store. Okay. So we will import all the libraries which is present in our search store. We are not going to avoid anything. So let's import all the thing. So wait for a second. So it will start uh, importing the all the libraries. okay it has been done now so it will take a taken a huge time okay fine so make sure that you have a camera as a perspective and a cube as a ground and then light so we have all the three set up but we got error we'll try to solve that so i think it's some dependency yeah so gua text it's a whole system so I'm going to remove this because I don't need this remove and save it save it and run for that I hope you will get the same error just remove that and try to work on that okay okay this is the plugin from the other store I believe okay it's re-importing now everything is fine and it's good to go now let's search for a uh, yeah, first person controller to use in our product I mean a project so it will be present in standard results and then first person control character okay prefab so drag and drop the rigid body fps controller since we need a force for the fps so i just added a rigid body so then we are going to have a mesh filter and mesh render in order to see the shape of a first person controller I'm just choosing in the form of a capsule. So now we got a color and a shape for a first person controller. It's perfect now. So we'll try to make in the front of a camera. Okay, I think this view is fine now. hit play and check it out but it's still moving that's the issue is uh, this camera is controlled by head bob so i'm going to remove that script uh, because i don't need that okay so now it's fine everything looks fine rename it as player we'll try to create game object called q 
so this is going to be a picking object and placing object so this cube is going to have a rigid body okay and then duplicate it and change the color okay so we have the different colors for the each game object next we'll have one end point that point is like a target point where we want to drop the game object I mean drop the cube okay so this is a point let's create a script Let's have a class called object controller. Open the script. So here we are going to make a system to in order to pick and drop the game object. Okay. First of all, we need the position where we want to drop, where we want to show the move the game object on a target position so it's going to be a player object okay and then we are going to have uh, void on mouse down so once user click on the particular object it need to reflect time right so so on mouse down it's going to direct that object is clicked or not so once it's clicked we are going to disable I mean enable the kinematics function and disable the rigid body system and then we are going to set the position okay this dot transform dot parent it's going to be player object okay player holding object since it's not a player it's going to be a holding object where we want to show that so it, this object will reach to the player holding object referred by and we are going to set the position also same okay so first we setting a position and then we are so sending the parent okay player holding object is going to be a child of a player so I'll try to create that now. Let's get one spear. Okay. So we have a spear here. So this is going to be a player holding object. So let's just gradually move a little bit. I don't need box collider and mesh render. Disable that. So it's going to be a player holding object, okay? So once it's done, it will set the position and set the parent of that. So we are going to drop when user on mouse up. So right now we don't want to do, let's we try picking the object okay go to the object and click on the object okay i think it's not working yeah it's due to we don't have 
el single camera, ok we'll try to click now, still now same issue ok, physics is happening but object is not clicking let's see what's happened ok, go to the queue, we don't have a script that is the issue this is going to be border, ok so choose the two scripts and I, we are going to have the script and we are going to have uh, yeah placing object as a reference now we try it out it's definitely work i hope it will definitely work this time okay click on the object yeah perfect object has been clicked and it's it has been added as a parameter to the player so once it's picked it need to be dropped i'm right see it has been picked it need to be dropped at a destination position or at a border of a base okay so in order to do that we are going to create a script We'll try to make a camera a little bit back so that you can able to see pick the object perfectly in camera. Okay. On mouse or dub is nothing but we want to set the parent to null. Okay. And then we are going to have one more thing is the rigid body. We want to drop like I'm right. So once rigid body need to be enabled, then only force will apply so let's check it out so i'm just reaching to the top chat and picking the mouse button down okay it has been added and then i'm just trying to drop here perfect it's working perfect so I'll try to grab one more game object. So it has been added and I'm going to drop with mouse up button. Perfect. It has been done now. So in this way you can able to pick and drop the object for a 3d game objects so that's it if you think this video is very helpful for you please subscribe us and hit the bell icon thank you